uh, asked to join, but that's all right. Okie dokies, rent a champ select. I'm gonna fade this game completely. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> no, not intentionally, I just mean I can just feel that I'm gonna play bad. Whenever I do these battle arena things, my the bar at the bottom of chat logs just gets absolutely massive with everyone <laughs> sending me messages. So hard to Good, keep up. Good, better you than better you than me. <laughs> Yeah, well, you've got the stream to go, so yeah. it's a good call sending all the private messages through to me. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Wow, Twisted Fate. That's rough. Twisted oh, Fate ban. Mm. I wonder who that was targeted at. Thresh. Actually, interestingly, Blue Team with Kelsey, who is a Thresh, I'm pretty sure plays Thresh most of the time, actually banned Thresh. So there you go. Mm-hmm. We'll, uh... First pick it, yeah. <laughs> okay, banning Nami. That's uh, that's novel as well. <laughs> banning every support. Yeah. Green champions, maybe. Who knows? Ban Morgana, and then then it's all gonna be. That's what I, that's what I'd do. Just actually, it'd be funny if both teams banned all the main supports, like Bra, Morgana, Alistair, Leona. Well, like they have they have taken away support Twisted Fate from Scrub Phoenix. Oh, yeah, it was <laughs> you were just face palming them, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. If there's a if there was one way to make me to hate Twisted Fate more than I currently do, it would be to support Twisted Fate. <laughs> You've done it before. Find me yeah. a sharp implement to stab into my ears, <laughs> reaching my brain. I I hope Scrub's listening to that feedback. <laughs> yeah. That's not it's actually nothing. Well, I I just don't like. Except in the hands of like freaky, like you know, Korean pros, like I'm just not a big fan of Twisted Fate in general. You know what? You know what's going to happen? What? I think we're going to see our first ever battle arena with no Jax ban. Well, that it wasn't banned all this this week. But that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's our first battle arena night. Well, you no shouldn't Jax have said that before the final ban was well, done. A ten because... second delay on the stream. I'm sure. Oh, there you go. No Jax ban. Oh, there we go. No Jax ban. And probably no Jack's pick because it was banned locked for like six months and so no one plays him anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I hope my secret plan worked. Well, you, you went, you're going to go Jack's now? No. I do. <laughs> but I don't want to spoil. Okay. okay. <laughs> I've got a secret. You want to know what it is? Yes? Well, tough. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just out of insider information, apparently they banned Thresh and Nami to be nice to the other team. Yes! <laughs> I got the Yasuo. Yasuo! <laughs> we got another Vigar hover. Good to see. Kelsia has done what I've been hoping someone has was going to do this week, and that's pick Zed. Because after the patch, I strongly believe he's one of the most powerful champions in the game. Mm. And the only champion I think that's stronger than him at the moment has been banned, and that's Maokai. So, yep. time to show us what you can do, Kelsia. In my opinion, Zed gets kind of picked too easily with like Zillion, Kale, and Lulu and stuff. Mm. Yeah, but you've uh, you you picked Yasuo, so that's not happening. <laughs> Wait, how does that could be Yasuo support? Anyway. Come on, get yeah, real. Totally. Well, right now, Purple Team have shown just a ton of physical crit damage coming in. Yeah. So, uh, if Victor Bradley's there, he's got his Tarek as an option for the passive aura. <coughs> no, I think he. I think he's retired. I think he's 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 too chicken to play because he might lose. He's remember his exact words. I'm going to. What is it? I'm going to. I will humiliate your precious Miss Fish. So there we go. See, it's easy to bait out his his Tarek. It's just too easy. You just you just need to taunt him, and. Uh, <laughs> All too easy. That's interesting. Scrub Phoenix has pitch, picked up a Moomoo. Moo. I didn't even know he owned a Moomoo. Moo. He's pretty good. Uh, main, the main issue with picking a Moomoo Moo this early in, in the uh, picks and ban, in the pick phase, is that he's e very easily counter picked. Yeah. You just walk, pick any jungler that can walk into and, and just kill him at level one. 
Bring Solo Queue to know what happens though. Yeah, it's a bit silly. Like, I it can really first should. pick a Mumu and they won't do anything to me, even if they pick Lee Sin. So we got Lulu. I'm gonna guess top lane. I mean, it could be support, but we're seeing Lulu primarily played in the top lane over anywhere else. <laughs> Although she's a flex pick, she can go top, she can go mid, she can go bottom. Mm. Really good counter pick to set. Yep. Very nice. Yeah, actually, Death Mark goes on. So does the uh, so does the Lulu ultimate. What's it called? Giant Wild growth. growth. Wild Growth. Can you guess what key that's on? Ah. <laughs> you douche. Well, you got one of them. Armageddon picking up the uh, the counter pick to a movie right there. Udi is gonna walk in and kill him. All right, and Pips Pips picking up Jinx. Is this gonna happen? Is this the thing? That's such a scary lane, Jinx Lena. Mm. Because he's oh, yeah. forever. And at level six, they can hunt to zero anybody. They have a really nice team comp. Or do they? They're high. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> They're hovering, hovering over nipple hoses. Yeah. It is elite. so. It is a top lane Tarek. <laughs> I can't see any other situation. Um, that's gonna be so weird. I really want to see like a Vlad and just poop all over him. <laughs> I think that'd be awesome. Uh, oh, it's Miss Fish, so I probably should shut up. Um, <laughs> oh no, I I'm picking for the other guy. Oh, I see. <laughs> I said, I really want to see someone pick up Vlad or someone and just poop all over Victory in top lane. <laughs> Alright, so we've got either a top lane Alistair or a top lane Lulu. I guess. Because <laughs> this team's a bit weird. Like, Udyr is almost definitely jungle. There's almost no scenario I can see where Udyr is not the jungler. Alistair could be top or bottom. Lulu could be top or bottom. Yasuo could be mid or top. Definitely pre preferred the mid. Uh, and, well, we know where Tristana's going. AP Tristana mid. <laughs> <laughs> or AD Tristana mid now. Yeah, that's it. And, and Yasuo AD carry bot. Um, so, what should Scrub be thinking, going up against a new deer, you know, uh, in this situation? What's what's a, a good strategy? You know, if, if... Um, I I think by far the best strategy he could have implored is a Q dodge. Um, I don't think there's really other, any other solution. I think he's pretty much stuffed. Um, well, I think I mean I think the, the initial point is you need your team to coordinate uh, and defend him when he's at his second buff because. Uh, I mean, okay. let's let, let's look at this objectively. They've got Alistair Lulu and Utia. They've got such a dominant level one. Like unless Victor Pradley goes his stun on Tarek at level one, in which case he's giving up any kind of laning um, strength that he might have had against uh, looks like Alistair. Um, man, that's going to be such a weird lane to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking about that. Support me, support top season four. Yeah, I've uh, I've been I've been watching Scrub Phoenix play since he was level two, and or level one, and I've never seen him jungle before. So, pretty sure my uh, my trusty roommate Armagon is just gonna just slaughter him, and everyone's gonna get annoyed at at the Amumu for feeding, but really this... I I don't know why he's Amumu. I, I don't get the pick at all. I don't get I the you, choice Udia of lane. Well, I mean, outside of someone like Udi, like, Amumu is actually one of the winningest champions in the game. So he actually yeah. is incredibly effective. He's just... He has some really obvious counters. Um, there's, uh, there's, like... Okay, look, I'm just assuming that Scrub Phoenix is going to do absolutely terrible on Amumu. Uh, and that there's really nothing that he's going to be able to do unless his team picks him up and carries him. So, I mean, he could build uh, super tanky and basically just stay in the jungle for a long, long time, buy a ton of wards and be a support uh, jungle. 
that's that's probably the best way I'd go. Because if you can see that Udir is taking your bottom jungle, go to your top jungle. Go to mm. his top jungle. Uh, buy an early sweeper, clear out his wards, because you know Udir is going to be invading over and over and over again. Because mm. uh, Udir is amazing at it. Uh, they've got no level one defense against uh, Alistar. It, it's so they're basically gonna go well okay. except if if you want to have a really good level one engage with alistair you really need to take you need to burn your flash which is okay if you're gonna kill but if you don't it's, it's kind of a waste stuff, though, to get in range. yeah yeah there's there's so like don't get me wrong kelsier and pips could probably turn around a good invade like if if uh if alistair flash pulverizes in zenith blade onto the lulu and just blow them up with just like th there's possibilities there but i don't know i'm not feeling good about it oh, no, alistar's tp as well so we can just five man that bottom buff and let him tp back up <coughs> now that i've said that we're not going to do it though <laughs> or, are we? or are we the mind games the mind games the mind next game. level mind games this is so weird having a player in the game on the chat with us um, now, I should make mention that uh, myself and Cleric, who are currently casting, we are part of the Oslo podcast, and we're joined by Miss Fish, who is playing. Um, and uh, we, the Oslo podcast is a Australian-focused uh, League of Legends podcast. We talk about uh, the Oceanic uh, professional scene. We talk about how, to, and we also talk about how to get better at this game, which, uh, uh, particularly in the next couple of weeks, or the next couple of months, we're going to be talking a lot about the game and how to get better because. Uh, yeah, the, the the pro stuff is ten is sort of winding down for the year, uh, oh, except for PAX. But anyway, uh, and we, TV Expo, and, and yeah, and, all that. So maybe yeah, not so and much. All, all of these pro games that are about to happen. Yeah, <laughs> we are part of the Trinity Force Network, which is uh, to, with our sister podcast, the T Force Proper, uh, which is twice a week on this channel uh, from about eleven a ten a.m. on. Uh, Thursday, Tuesdays and Thursday mornings, uh, and on which they deal with how to get better at the game. And they talk about patch notes and that sort of side of things and PBE type stuff. And then you've got the T Force LCS run now, which deals uh, primarily with the uh, NA and EU LCS, and obviously they're gearing up for for Worlds. So uh, make sure, yep, TrinityForcePodcast dot com. Check us out. Uh, sign up to subscribe to us on iTunes. Uh, we're on Stitcher as well, uh, and uh, yeah. We think our shows are good, so do it. And you should too, because yeah. our our opinion is better than yours. That's it. That's exactly <laughs> that's way to win friends and influence people. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh your god. <laughs> Tarek's in my mid lane. <laughs> oh spoiler alert! The stream hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to like pay attention to the time. Yeah. <laughs> See, we're looking at we're looking at armor of fifth age tarot going, man. Yeah. Mr. Bradley OP. Um hmm. Here we go, we're into the game. Are you okay, I'm not into the game yet. Oh, okay. I'm into the game. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to do my laning assignments. My team's Ooh, pretty not... rude, level one. <laughs> well, why wouldn't you be? No, I was just like trying to sing them a song mid, you know, with the dance, and then my team just goes ham. <laughs> they're probably listening. They probably went, oh, yeah, if they invade, they'll win. So <laughs> they're invading. Uh Ghost is so unethical. <laughs> I don't even know how to play this matchup. I should beat him up, <laughs> right? And then he gets an arm right in and it's GG. Come mid for song, no BM. <laughs> and then my team bloody invades. Oh well, I baited them. Plat tactics. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Carrot Colossus is being called out on his English. Apparently, it's an Australian uh, podcast, not a Australian podcast. Whatever. 
bite me. How's, how's that for English? <laughs> I think that was actually pronounced correctly, wasn't it? Oh, that was a really good... Oh, no, oh, they're going to get no. the first blood. The first blood going to Tristana. That's not good news for you guys. And the bur burning a flash on uh, quite a few people there. We got Pips, uh, Jinxes, so, got flash yeah. down. Lulu, Tristana's flash is down. Udia's flash Udia. is down. Lulu, if you didn't mention that. I did so say that. Okay, but, whatever. Uh, so that's actually, first blood to Tristan is a massive deal, but that is a lot of flashes burned for it, so. Mm. Uh, but they are going to be able to get this red buff, absolutely no problems. Uh, Kelsia is, wow, what a ward. That's nice ward. Yeah. And uh, Tristan just walks straight past it and going, what? <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, how you doing? How you doing? So many CS. I told you it's sad. I told you. <laughs> Look at this. Bot lane helping the super DPS down the the, the red buff. Um, that's put Udir in a really good spot. He might get a try. Oh, well, the ward that's going to provide an advantage. Syntax taking a ton of damage on Lulu. Oh, they're not trading any damage for it. Oh, the summoner heal used to get the move speed buff to get Syntax back to lane. That's so weird. Tarek in the mid lane. It's so funny. Zed versus Alistair. I don't know how that plays. Well, I'm expecting I'm expecting Tarek to humiliate, uh, humiliate uh, Yasuo because that's that was the promise. So he better not live, or else he would, he would definitely he definitely won't get an interview if he doesn't if he doesn't deliver on that. So Scrub Phoenix did not die to blue buff, so he's already exceeded my expectations. Looks at PVT General's the first person to hit level 2 in this top lane. Alistair just hits it, but mm. he's going to be trying to farm under tower, which is what, not one of Alistair's uh, early game strengths. He gets a bit better at it later. Now, I actually uh, should have mentioned that uh, I think starting red for a Mumu is actually a really good move, uh, because you can be guaranteed that if you don't start red, they're going to come to your red. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's how I would have gone about it as well, but... You know, these things in hind hindsight. I start blue because even if you lose your other buff, that way you can still farm. True, true. Yeah. The uh, Udir oh, is logic. already onto his third buff. Amumu's only got one. Uh, yep, it's time for Amumu to start playing Ward Bot and hope that he's t he can get off a good bandage toss ultimate and set up a kill for, I'm going to say, Jinx. Because <laughs> uh, ganking an Alistar generally doesn't work out in your favour. Um... Oh, oh, looks dear. like uh, we've had a disconnection there. Oh, oh. he's returned. That's all right. That's interesting. We did half a camp and then disconnected. Weird. <laughs> That's so funny. Miss Fish is at half health versus Victor Bradley on Tarek. So. <laughs> it's such a weird matchup. Don't get me wrong. He's double his farm at this point. So. Yeah. It's uh, mirrored in the top lane. I mean, one of the uh, issues... For a Mumu, like normally with a Mumu, like he's a great ganker, so gank, like continue to gank uh, lanes, but the lanes, his lanes are all pushed up, so that's, mm -hmm. that means he's basically just got to farm and be in the jungle, which is really, where he really doesn't want to be. Yeah, because it makes him incredibly vulnerable to yeah. Udia. Um, Udia's gone for the three buff start, and he's about to start making a mess of this bot lane. And, uh, oh no, he doesn't realize he's standing on a ward. Oh, maybe he does. He's backing off. Now, um, Steve, what do you reckon of, uh, Alistair post, uh, post headbutt nerf? So, I you know, in the top that's lane. that's a negligible, negligible change. Yeah. Uh, we've said for months, uh, in the community and, uh, on the podcast and such that Alistair's biggest problem with his mana costs. Yeah. Absolutely, by a large stretch. The... Wow, like, the minions. The is this going to be a kill for... Oh. Oh, Miss Fish is so I was trying to bait for Udia. I yeah. Was way closer. It was yeah. the minions, man. The minions were getting you. <laughs> Impressive minions. The, pro minions. The the change to Alistair's uh, headbutt not being able to get in an auto attack between the pulverizers up. That only matters for one type of build on yeah. Alistair. That's it. And the... that is the Trinity Force uh, static shift build. Yep. Because that was how the pros were building him to abuse that auto attack. The uh, the Emperor Capitine. 
yeah, exactly. It was, uh, and it was pretty nasty, the burst damage that he was capable for a tank juggler. Um, he is still an amazing top laner. Uh, top three, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, Oh, the oh this is a great switch. gank. The death mark is down. Oh, that's going to kill him. Oh, he... There we go. Nice, well done. Pops. Very nice counter gank from Armagon. Well, it was a very nicely timed counter gank from Armagon. Oh, scrub. Yeah, he doesn't need to tank those turret hits. He's not going to get a kill. But he, he backed off, which is good. He didn't keep going to ham. Interesting. Uh, scrub Phoenix has gone for a quill coat. Um, he needs to go tanky, so it's probably the right call. But mm. generally, you'll see the uh, ancient golem being built on him. Actually, but, I'm not even sure if that's true anymore. What? Well, to general, you need to build Cool Coat to build Ancient Golem. No, not Ancient Jinx Golem. Jinx me right now. Spectral, <laughs> Spectral Wraith? Spectral Wraith, thank you. Yeah, okay. Oh, Scrub Phoenix went the wrong way. Oh, unless he's going to flash over this wall. Oh, or at least Zide doesn't care. Alistair no mana. Alistair was t full mana. Was he? Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I, thought he's, I thought he was quite low. Oh, no, yeah, he is. There you go. His mid lane battle is comical. Yeah. I can't do anything to him. I just have to farm. Yeah, until you get a and static I'm not really hard. He should just focus more on CS than mm. trying to harass me and stuff. But no, he wants to humili humiliate you. Yeah, you gotta do <laughs> that. Where, that's where his focus is, and that's where it should be. Because yeah. he's not gonna win this lane. He's just gonna be in this lane. <laughs> what happened, bot? Why are they mid? <laughs> Uh, well, it looks <laughs> like if uh, three minutes in the past is anything to go by, Pips out farmed. Oh, is it uh, Tristana was out farmed by Jinx by about twenty. So the first blood really hasn't been transitioned into uh, any kind of big lead here. Although he picked up a pickaxe, but Jinx has answered with a pickaxe of her own. So that first blood really not doing as much uh, for bot lane as as we were hoping. Then again, this is Pips and Kelsia. The dynamic duo would be that they're just able to deal with that gold advantage. Well, it translated, I think. I mean, it, basically, the, the first punch would, would allow Lulu to get the Frostfang uh, instead of, you know, so that's that's where it's going. Which is, I mean, it's a useful Ooh, item, but it's not a. Um, PT General just dueling out. Wow. Well, I think they're both going to go down. <laughs> and, and that's amazing. That's. Oh wow, my God. there you go. That was a beautiful Alistair ult, by the way. Yeah. Just, oh, Deathmark, whatevs. <laughs> well, and if if um if the chat from PVT General's priceless. <laughs> what did he say? Just spammed the entire chat with just random letters, starting with W T and then Flickergram. That was uh that was Pips and Kelsey doing what Pips and Kelsey do best, and that is killing support people. Yeah. <laughs> I just got wrecked. Was it humiliation? Did you? Yeah, get... I got stunned while I was trying to do an ulti. Oh wow, that, that is that's pretty bad. By, I think it was Victor. Um, somebody said we shouldn't give Misfish info. Well, he's 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 actually three minutes in the past, so in in the future. So we, there's not much we can actually tell him apart from like what happened. Comment on what happened three 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 minutes ago. And while, while I agree with him, we shouldn't really have him in the talk when we, you know, we could talk about wards and, and strategy and all that sort of stuff, giving him an unfair advantage, but I think this is really on you, community. You really should have gotten a 10th person into this game. That's, uh, that's not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Armageddon's... Oh, no! Supports! No! no oh, my goodness! Nice. Oh, it was a beautiful flag! Oh, what a snipe! The zap from downtown! Picking up... That's double buff to pips. That's not good. And Games Week tends to be a bit more of a, a, a little less serious as well. What's that? Um, game three of, of Battle Arena always tends to be a little bit less serious. Yeah, it's because Victor yeah. Pradley's gotten far enough into his vodka. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Victor. That was a joke for those. Vic Victor and I get along quite well. I'm not that was that was not a good move by uh, Lulu. And, uh, I don't think I think she really overestimated how. How yep. tanky she would be, or what kind of damage she'd do. Either that or she thought that Tristana was a little bit closer. I'm a little uh, confused by the Tristana build. I think Tristana's just buying things when forced back, forced back rather than finishing an early Infinity Edge. If she's going for yep. Berserker's Greaves, I don't think that's the right way to go. Um, saving for the BF Sword's probably a much higher priority. 
<laughs> I'm loving, I'm loving Zed versus Alistair in the top lane. Such a, oh, here we go, a gank coming in on PPT General. The Zed goes in, he wants to deal as much damage, but that's going to be another Alistair ult. He's not going to be able to finish him. Oh! Wow, nice. Wow. Zed even used the Ignite, but the Alistair ultimate is too strong. Oh. That's, that's amazing. I love it. And that's actually really good news for this Udyr too. He's going the uh, Trick uh, Trick 2G build. Madstone build. So, yeah, Madstone build. Oh, that was a fa phenomenal ult by uh, Leona there. That's mm -hmm. some, that's some, as a Leona player, I can say that was some very impressive stuff. Really good yeah. they forced my splash. That was oh, Scrub Phoenix with the ultimate! That was a nice save from Scrub Phoenix. Well done. That is exactly how we needed to play this Amumu, game. Amumu, you mean? Ah, uh, yes, Amumu. I'm reading the names of the screen. I was so close to getting like a five-man <laughs> ulti now. Oh, that's not good. You don't want to go in 2v1. Oh, your team saw the initiation. They're following you! Oh, wow. Double kill! Double kill to Jinx! Love <laughs> it! They should really fall back, though. Uh, there's really not enough mana on this Tarek to heal everybody up. They should just take the dragon while they know it's safe. And Did the jungler go is going dragon then. The exact wrong way. So because we go check dragon after and it's dead. So that was... <laughs> oh okay. Visions into the future. I don't know. Yeah, I think that was a that was a poor move from uh, from a Moo to not go directly to dragon. Like as the jungler, it is your job to basically yeah. put. You should be thinking about it. Yeah, that's it. Should be at the forefront of your mind every second yeah. of the game. Going. Is this an opportunity to take dragon? No, I'm doing my wolves. I'll continue. Oh, is this an opportunity to take dragon? Well, I'm ganking the lane. Is this an opportunity to take dragon? Yes, I just got a double kill for my for my <laughs> 80 carry. Now's the time to take dragon. Oh, PVT general, no, oh, not a good place to be standing, Zed. I think he's uh, I think he's afraid of the cow. I think he's afraid <laughs> to go back to the top lane. I think he's gone. I'm gonna go mid. See what I can get there. Now, Amumu has finished his Spirit of the Ancient Golem. That's uh, good news for him. Hopefully, he's able to put that to good enough use so we can get a lot of gold, because mm. he's going to need, based on this team composition, I want to say, for Sunfire Cape as soon as possible. Yep. The uh, the Randuid's Omen might oh be a God. good... My oh, my God. My just bugged. Oh, we have to check that. 16.50. Yep, we're looking forward to it. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, Sunfire works very well with the tears, um, just AoE genericness that Amumu brings, the Tantrum as well, his ult. Uh, Randuin's is very good at slowing them as well, so that's a way that he could go on that. He's past the he's past the tough bit now. He got through the jungling phase with only one death, so bravo to him. Uh, he should be donating this blue. Yeah, especially yeah, since he's got it's got cool coat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's Tarek going to do with a cooldown reduction in mana regen? Yeah. Heal more evil. Stun every 12 seconds instead of 15. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Hey, well, I don't actually know Tarek's abilities that well. So so Dazzle, which is his... Uh... His stun? Yep. You, you give it to Zed, because Zed... 16 second cooldown. Well, see, it's probably still better on, on the Moo Moo, because Zed doesn't use mana. He does benefit from the... Uh, well, he wants the cooldown. Reduction deal but i f i think the cooldown reduction is actually more powerful on amumu because he can get that ultimate up he True. Can get the yeah, a, good point. Second, a second and a half um closer so yeah i think amumu taking the blues in this particular case because it's the Tarek, um <laughs> is is the way to go and udi is a bit out of position here he's being uh chased out of lane he doesn't there's not many wards down for the purple team Blue have got wards everywhere. I mean, they may have wards everywhere, Miss Fish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'm no, like, rotating us really hard too. Like... Well, that's a direct result of the wards, and the the thing is, is that there's a three minute delay, so these wards that I can see have already expired. Except yeah. for the pinks, tell me where the pinks are. They're all in your base. Yeah, there's one in your nexus and one under your inhibitor. Yeah, that's it. I can go check right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we can feed back. Mac Noon put them there when he was when he was Ringar. <laughs> oh, um, 
Unfortunately, there is no damage here. Uh, we've got two, three tanks. An Iceborne tank. Well, yeah, sure. so there's no, no in the top lane. Yeah, if you're looking yeah. at how to come back, it's finish two infinity edges and win. That's pretty <laughs> much... That's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, because Tarek is he's going to be pretty damn tanky, but everyone else is going to be squishy as hell. I mean, Leona has considerable tank stats, but she falls to an infinity edge pretty quick. Look at this. Battle of the wet noodles in the, in the jungle. That's right. Amumu is just crying all over this damage reduction bull. Oh, the ult, and then he's ulted out of it, and Bandage tosses back in. Spider-Man shit there from Scrub Phoenix. Oh, Pips is unstoppable. Scrub Phoenix wants another assist. The greed. The greed. Oh, he misses the bandage toss. Not worth the flash. Oh, Victor Bradley! The Tarek flash stun! Yeah, he gets it with an Iceborne Gauntlet proc. Oh, no! Tristana comes in and cleans up the bits there. Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty bad. Should have, uh, not followed. Should have not chased so far into the jungle. You put yourself in All the meanwhile, Zed has been split pushing, so... Um... And, uh, they, they already had the, the pressure coming up the mid lane. Who actually had that going on? That was, uh... Yeah, Pips, uh... Pips and Kelsey are the, uh... Leona, uh... Leona Jinx combo. Uh, yeah, yeah, Leona Jinx. They, uh, they pushed up that lane and then saw Victor Pradley or, or Tarek and, uh, Amumu way out of position and went to help them. So, them going to help wasn't too bad because they already had minion pressure on the tower. And Zed's split pushing at the right time. Which is when all when you've got lane pressure somewhere else. So he's gonna. Oh, actually, I'm behind because I rewound. So let me catch back up. Does he actually get this tower? No, he gets scared off. Oh. See, I actually think that was a bit of overkill on the behalf of Blue Team. Like they didn't actually need to use two ults on him, especially with Deathmark, because you're kind of like, well, if you've already locked him up. All the zap hits. Um. Oh, he goes back then. Oh. Boom! Jinx ult. I love the jinx ult. When like point blank. Like, I love it. Because <laughs> it's like a more powerful Grave Salt. Because <laughs> it's an Execute. Nice zap. See, I really like what they're doing right now. They're pressuring uh, Purple Team back into their base. And then they're going into the jungle. They're taking all their camps. They're clearing all their wards. Yeah. Well, actually, do we have sweepers? No. Kelsey just has... wards down. <laughs> That's the trick. That'll show them. They'll waste all their time buying sweepers. <laughs> Steal no damage, so I don't like buying them. No, we, saw a, we, we were encouraged everybody, everybody to buy more wards. We saw a laning phase one because of a ward last game. Oh wow, this is Zed. No one, like, no one's been in a position to stop him, so we don't actually know how strong he is. I in a one one. Yeah, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> we're we want to give the lucky is in yeah, well, that's Actually, it. Actually, kind of fair, didn't he? Uh, no, he's, uh, he's three three one, uh, and he hasn't even finished his Blade of the Ruined King at this point in time. So. Oh, at this point, he's really bloody fed. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler alert for the stream viewers. I don't think we should do this in future. This is really yeah. <laughs> that's okay. We can change it right now. We can just kick him out of the call. Oh no! I think we've started something. We're gonna start. No, let's do it. We'll finish it. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, this game is so bad. <laughs> so Alistair has gone the Rod of Ages route. I was going to comment on this earlier, but I don't think I did. Um, I really do think that Trinity Force is still stronger on him. Yeah, uh, it, I agree. Like, it's not that it's a poor item choice. It just... It kind of puts him into... He has to play a certain way. Yeah. Like, he's going to be constantly healing and he's going to basically been peeling for his team which isn't necessarily a bad thing with Yasuo and uh and Tristana it just means that he's not going to be able to he's not going to be getting in there dealing damage himself then again Udyr could step it up and do that exact same thing so it's not, not a particularly bad choice it's just that there are other options available oh Zed's going to go straight in 1v1 this uh this poor Lulu Lulu's oh, not sure of footings to escape Interestingly, there, which... the Lulu used her exhaust after he the death market popped, which is really not the time you want to be using uh, no. exhaust. You want to use it as soon as he as soon as he ults you, as soon as he pops in, you, you then use it, so. Oh, oh. I think we're gonna see some humiliate Oh no, the Oh Mr. Victor Friendly! Oh! Taste the wind! 
<laughs> oh, and Victor Bradley gets knocked back out. Oh, oh, see how much damage the Udyr took from that yeah. uh, Jinx. Well, he's uh, he's got a, he's got a, a Giant's Belt, so that's reasonably tanky. Oh, he wasn't in total stance at the time, too, so that's uh, yeah, it's a bit scary. The tie is trying to. Oh, oh nice move. God. Nice move from Leona to just stop him because if he'd gotten a little bit closer, he might have been able to flash headbutt. And that would have been enough. I suck. Oh, nice ward placement there from the purple team. Who put that I mean, down? really, like, I mean, one of the issues for, for Udi is the fact that he's only got 25 seconds on his Feral Flare, so he really needs to step it up to, to get the, the well, 25 seconds on his Wriggles to get to turn it into Feral Flare. It's 20 minutes, so really. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a real problem. Well, well, I I really do feel that he probably could have punished uh, the uh, the Scrub Phoenix's uh, Moomoo pick more. Oh, yeah, for sure. A lot more camps from the enemy yeah. jungle, and that would have helped a little bit. But to be honest, uh, he's really been forced into a reactionary phase where all of his towers are falling down and he's forced to group. So he's not able to get those stacks. Yep. Every time that uh, they get pushed against, he loses all his jungle farm. So, oh, the cow's in the wrong spot. I don't think it's anything that uh, that Udyr is doing wrong, so much as everything that Blue Team is doing right. Oh, yeah. the long range! That was a nice center nice play. Oh, poor Lou is not getting away from that. I think that's a tower. I think that's definitely yeah, that's going to be a tower. Oh, the Zap double kill! Oh, and Zed solely new Udyr. I think this game is snowballing out of control at 10k. Victor Bradley, for some reason, diving this fish for the humiliation, I suppose. Oh, oh and the Jinx ult just missed. The kill goes to Leona. They're going to be able to get an inhibitor off this. They've got plenty of time. Lulu and Alistair are no threat because they do no damage. They can get this. Uh, and they can probably rotate to top because Zed mm. is just tearing He's the right there. top lane of top uh, apart. So, And uh, Tarek can just heal up Scrub. Um, there we go. There's the heals. If they rotate top now, that would be just a beautiful rotation. And it looks like they are splitting up, which is... Yeah, a 3-1-1 three, three, one, one push from Yeah, I mean, no, it should have really been all of them. Oh, that was beautiful. Did you see that? Okay, Udyr used his ink spook with speed, uh, what's it called, bear stance, to try and gap close on to Zed. And then Zed used the Blade of the Ruin King to steal that bonus attack speed to gain the Oh, advantage. nice. He turned it around. That was beautiful play from PBT General there. That was some sick, sick moves on Zed. Zatai's walking around going, I don't know what to do! <laughs> I have HP and no defensive stats, help me! <laughs> uh, see, now, you shouldn't be mid. Shouldn't be mid, blue team. There's nothing mid for you. Unless you're yep. just looking for a brawl, in which case, they have the advantage. You should be top, or you should be bottom. Both lanes are pushed in your favor, they are free towers. Yep. Or, I mean, dragons, yeah, pushing a little bit, but your dragon... So you got to keep that in mind as well. Um, yeah, well, they've already got complete ward coverage for the dragon fight. So, um, oh, this, oh, I'm, I'm such a fan of Zed. Man, he is so overpowered right now. Yeah. Good stuff, PBT General. <laughs> uh, Miss Fish, you shouldn't be typing. <laughs> what? Give you any, <laughs> you've just, it's come up in the whole chat three minutes ago. Oh, bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I could have killed that guy because it was so low and I had exhaust up. Oh dear. It's pretty bad of me to die then because we would have got a Baron <laughs> too if I killed him there. Oh, Victor Pradley with the trash talk. Stop typing, now you have no reason to lose ever. <laughs> oh, beautiful uh, headbutt pulverize combo from Zatai. Unfortunately, he's the only one there. <laughs> it's 2v1 and he's on low health. He has got his ult though, so... Oh, see, you mistimed that because he could have broken the, uh, the disables right then, so... Um... Yeah. Well, the important thing was that he lived. Yes, it's so, true. I, 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 I'm not going to give him too much trouble about that. It was, uh, it, again, it probably could have been a better call, um, but uh, not, not a horrible choice. Oh, nice zap. Nice Zenith Blade. Oh, poor idea. He just wants to ward. <laughs> to be fair, look at the purple team's wards. They've got this place covered. Hmm. So they've got really good vision in their top jungle, uh, all the way up to Baron. They've really got vision uh, dominance, which is strange considering how far behind they are. And well, the that's because they just went and established all that all that vision. So yeah, um. it was really well. It's quite strange that Blue Team allowed that to happen. Really, um, <laughs> Victor Bradley tanking turret hits because he's a boss. 
And it looks like they're trying to finish here. Uh, haven't heard anything from this fish about the conclusion of the game, so it, there's a real chance that it doesn't finish here. If that or it's just being passive aggressively silent. <laughs> no, I'd say it's over. There, yeah, there's no chance that Pips doesn't auto attack this next. <laughs> Oh, nice ult from Amumu. Gotta say, Amumu, not bad. For, uh... I yeah, think he did Scrub pretty well. A, Scrub Phoenix has a 100% win rate in the jungle. Main jungle for Scrub Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, GG! GG. Oh, that brings us to a close of week 10 of the Oceanic Battle Arena with the Trinity Force Network. I had a lot of fun. I did too. I did up until that last game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you had an experience. You had an experience. All right. Yes, as uh, Cleric has said, we have been the Ocean Empire Arena Week 10. Uh, we'll be back again uh, next week from f 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you're in the Old Soul channel. Make sure you go to Trinity Force Podcast. Uh, dot com and check out all the podcasts and sign up and subscribe and all of that kind of cool stuff and tune in Monday afternoon Monday evening from 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time for the Oslo podcast uh, thanks for joining us and we'll be back again next week good evening ladies and gentlemen <laughs> <laughs>